Because now we're live. Who do you want to play as? You know, I, I wasn't expecting to play a brand new campaign today. I won't lie, I was not ready for that. Of all the things that I was ready for, um, I did not realize that... Oh, I know why, because we set it up as a free-for-all. That's what it was. Oh, God dang it. What? Just before we start, I get a work phone call. Okay. Just as we start, <laughs> one of my one of my nieces wakes up. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm gonna be one of those nights. All right. So, what are you thinking? What do you, what do you, who do you want to be? You be on like the same faction? What are we doing? You pick whatever you want. And I can play off you or with you. You know what I mean? All right. Let's see here. Who have I not played ever? I, I if I've played the dwarves, you know I haven't played corn yet. You want to play as corn? Yeah, but anything you choose will be against me, so that doesn't really work. Actually, no, that is not that that does work because um, hold on, Clan Moors pretty much kind of does align with you. Clan Moors. Skaven. Skaven. And I start right next to you. That works. Clan Moors. So I've never played Cornate Demons. If you want, I can. I, he was the first faction I ever played. I can give you po pointers. Ah, well, I'm sorry. Rosal, I apologize. I did ring, of course, yes. I apologize. I have been distracted so far. It's been like what five minutes, and already like everything that could break has broken. I've gotten phone calls from work. I've gotten I've gotten family waking up, so you gotta you know give him over to the gay shit to put him down. Yes. And now we're gonna play Warriors of Corn. Ah oh, yes. Now, hopefully this time. Uh, as much as the vampire counts are super fun, as fun as they are, um, I, I am I am a chaos fanboy at heart, and I'll never not be. I'm not late for the party this time. You know what? You are right. You are here for the first instance of a party where Ron and I wax autistically about stupid things. Like well, I think I've I've been told I might actually be autistic. That makes so much goddamn sense. No, I'm no. taking a test. You know, the problem with you being autistic is that it does make it more difficult for me to make fun of you. I don't give a shit. Well, because you see, the thing is, I can't make fun of a disabled person. Well, hey, if I get, if I legally get disabled, if, like, mentally, I get disability checks. I mean, if you believe that's how it works, then yeah, sure, absolutely. Is that, I, is that not how that works? No, it's not, it's not at all how it works. <laughs> how does it work? Being disabled does not mean... Alright, let's see what we got. Oh, yes, Chaos Warriors of Corn. Mm. I'm about to send somebody to the sex pits. Yes. Redeemed pets. Oh, you what? Rosal, absolutely. You will get your pets. Uh, don't you worry about that. There will be so many pets in this game, it's not even funny. What is this? Cultist of Corn and Chaos Warriors of Corn. Wait, does he follow the same path, though, of the, uh... Does he not follow the same general idea of Chaos? What do you mean? Where, like, they have to upgrade... 
Yeah, like they have to do the warbands. That's only, that's only Warriors of Chaos. Okay, okay. What does that do? See, Rosal, pets is that it is required that I get into melee with somebody. Okay, so, you, okay, so here's how corn works. All of your buildings make money, but they make no money. They make, they make like a couple of dollars. Your best form of making money is through rate sacking shit. Hell you make yeah! So much money through sacking things. Oh, you better believe it. It you... costs you. Your main thing is skulls, and in order to occupy <laughs> settlements, you have to use skulls. Yes. So what you normally do is like it spent. You take twenty five hundred skull. Okay. 2,500 skulls to claim a settlement. Uh, normally, you only want to actually claim capital buildings, because as you spread corn corruption, people will just run to the fucking ruins, and sometimes you just get automatically. Like, if you raise Argul Med Medal, and then have high enough corn corruption, every turn there's a percentage chance that you might just get the, the ruins of mid... however you say it just for free, and then you have to build it up from ruins. Nice. See, Rosal, you have experienced, and you have been, you have been, you've been brought into a great thing. Rosal, you've been brought into a very great thing. Warhammer fantasy lore is fantastic, and up until recently, Warhammer 40k lore has also been fantastic. Since you're not doing anything, I guess I'll just go to war with this guy. Yeah, I mean... That's your starting army person. A close victory. If you want, you can fight it so you get to see how stupidly yes. powerful Scarbrand is. There's and different... Hold on, hold on, because Rosal brings up an excellent question. There's different versions of Warhammer. You are correct. There's Warhammer Fantasy. Warhammer Age of Shitmar. Uh, I mean, Sigmar, well, sorry. Isn't it's... Age of Sigmar pretty much still just 40k? Oh, I hate you so much well, for no, saying is, that. Is it, wait, Age of Sigmar, I it's hate like, you so much right okay, now for okay. stating that. It's, it's 40k, but without the guns. Oh my god, no, not even that. <laughs> for, okay, so, uh, it, so Warhammer Fantasy was an idea and a great environment that said, what if we took, like, Renaissance and Feudal Europe and smashed it into a fantasy setting and just mashed every single fantasy setting together? Like, that's what Warhammer Fantasy was. Warhammer Age of Sigmar is, wow, 40k is great, isn't it? And we all say, yeah, it is. And he goes, wow, we should do more of that. And we all go, well, okay, well, what are you thinking? And like, we're thinking we're going to destroy all the fantasy stuff and make way for... Make way for, for just more 40k through fantasy and we all go no 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 and then they go yeah we're doing it and then it happened that's what that was not a boring night oh my god oh my god oh god i hate it i hate everything about it so much if you want you can give me scarbrand and i can show you how to properly use it i will learn how to use scarbrand See, you know how on TikTok, whenever you click on a comment and a video brings you back to the video, I went to like 135 vid playlists. There's so much information. Well, that's the thing. Warhammer Fantasy has so much information that, that you can do that. It, it, the issue with it is, is it, it, it's, it's Age of Sigmar garbage. Alright, I want to see what he does. Come on. Come on, no, no, Scarbrand. Have him target people behind them. He runs through things like a truck. Oh, okay. Oh, he does. Good lord, he does. Oh my so gosh. Like, and he just freaking kicked that guy. And if you should always aim for the people behind the ones you're, you want to actually hit, and he'll just run through them and do a lot of just damage that way. That's awesome. He yeah. can't really do it to mounted people, obviously, because they're technically bigger units. Oh, I want to see the charge. What is the charge? Oh yeah. Come on, get him, get him, hell, uh, blood letters. May I ask when you might play my favorite game, ready or not? Always your friend, your friend play that game, dude. Uh, he's doing quite well. He's doing quite well. We played Mech Warrior last night. We played some good old, good old Mech Warrior 5. Oh, that guy flew up oh, by Fred. Oh, Fred's dead. Oh, no, Fred's not dead. Fred's back up and he's ready for the fight. 
I will say this. Age of Sigmar did give us some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool corn looking units. But that doesn't mean we couldn't get that in Age of uh, Warhammer Fantasy. Get him. Fucker, but ready or not, I don't have enough point pile to distribute to bribe you, but eh. Hey, you know what? That's okay. I appreciate it. I appreciate the effort. Bribery is always welcome here. I am not above it. Alright, who's not... Alright, you're not locked in combat yet. Uh, what's this do? Rampage. There we go. Yes! Yes! Now, the wonderful thing about Chaos Warriors is that they're all just inhuman bastards. Yes, and the thing about Scarbrand is, like, you know how fucking, whatchamacallit, the guy, when we first started playing Warhammer, your your guy was pretty much a one-man army? Yes, so you mean Sigvald? Yeah. Scarbrand is a one-man army. Yes. That, that is what a greater demon prince of corn. Oh, you don't you don't see uh, ready and out of the schedule? Well, you don't because it has been removed for Mech Warrior Five because Fokker bought Mech Warrior Five for me. Uh, I bought the Ascent, and Austin and I are playing that. And then Ron uh, was sick and tired of my bullshit, and so he bought me Warhammer Three. So that's been the schedule. <laughs> and I'm not gonna buy. I'm. Not, I I, th I thought about buying you Baldur's Gate, but you're never gonna play it anyway. If you buy me Baldur's Gate. The rules apply. If you buy me a copy of Baldur's Gate, I will play Baldur's Gate with you. Though I will be very unhappy. <laughs> that I have to as Dan's crossed the entire time playing. Yeah, as I'm sitting there going, like, how can I make my character as retarded as possible? I mean, there's literally a character. It's called the Dark Urge, where basically, at every instance, all he wants to do is kill things. Okay, I want to play that character. I and, like, there's... A thing where you can talk to a squirrel if you have a potion. Of yes. Speaking animals. I want and to as, talk to a like, jittery you squirrel. Could, you could talk to a squirrel normally, but if you play as a dark urge, you'll just instantly kick it into a tree and kill it. That's even more. That, that, okay, I like that. That sounds like fun. All right, I want skulls. Give me skulls. Oh, another thing with Scarbrand is your your top ability is amazing like your middle one it's called skulls for the skull throne yes uh it basically helps you go on a rampage giving you more movement range and shit like that and it also upgrades your blood host which have you ever played scarbrand before i, I have never this is my first time playing a a, a a cornate demon in this game so as a po as a post like battle option for a settlement um you can make a blood host which spawns like half an army of yes. like just random units but if you uh fucking skull throne they're like upgraded units so you have like better tier units maybe even a bloodthirster see but they cost they have an upkeep ew i don't want to upkeep stuff so rosal um if you have if you are new in general to warhammer lore i, I would recommend looking into fantasy lore first I would strongly recommend fantasy lore first. And the reason being is because if you like fantasy, you'll probably like 40k. If you like 40k, you'll probably just get lost in the lore because it's 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 deeper. There's more to it. There's more stuff than in Warhammer Fantasy. Oh, by the way, with Scarbr uh yeah. You also replenish in foreign territory, which you kind of noticed. But yes, you, I did. You also have your in-camp stamps that you always have access to. Yes. So yes. no matter what movement range, you can always in-camp and then just get blood letters. Mm. But they obviously cost a lot because it's global recruitment, but they're always one turn, at least for Scarbrand. See, now the one thing that does not make sense in this game is the existence of greater demons in parts of the world where there are no like active winds of chaos like tons of it like are you talking about how there's like a corn a, a, a corn guy in the middle of lustria yes like and for some reason also a zinch guy so the thing about cornate demons now you can have demon hosts but you cannot have demons 
that exist for very long in the Warhammer universe, 40k or fantasy. So, fun fact, 40k and fantasy Warhammer like, demons follow the same exact rules. Um, it is not something that is going to be... They're rare. They're extremely rare. And not only are they extremely rare, they have a limited time period with which they can actually be available unless unless there is a very strong presence of the winds of chaos <laughs> so there's kings orc things blood magic sound power weapons demons and all that the fact that a warhammer history lesson will gloss over the fact this legion obliterated a planet with bio warfare but anyways they were a chill bunch not, co not compared to these guys so that's 40k lore 40k oh, is lore cool. is like that there is a, also a cool mechanic that all mono god factions have Oh. Um, as a lord, you can you can get a herald of corn. You know how your hero is a herald, um, and he's just like kind of a cooler blood letter. Well, yeah, yeah, that's a herald, yeah. As a lord, you can get a herald of corn, and once he gets level fifteen, you can either keep him a uh, herald of corn or have him evolve into an exalted bloodthirster. Yes, all right, that I like. And, you, and then you can also have like a human lord, and then when he becomes level fifteen. You can turn him into a demon prince of corn. Approved. And all mono gods have that. Like, um, there's like <laughs> heralds of Nurgle that can turn into great and clean ones. Zinch, uh can turn into the <laughs> birds. And uh, no worries, Slanesh can turn into soul soul keepers. See, or like the upgraded versions of each, uh, obviously. See. I like Slanesh the most out of all the Chaos Gods because he's the most debauched and because his heroes don't get any love whatsoever. Like, GW is afraid to talk about Slanesh because Slanesh is all about sexual debauchery and pain. Like, he's not a very happy god. As soon as a mom or a dad sees that, they're gonna go, yeah, this is not the game for my children and they're not wrong. This game about, about this big red guy Blurring people's blood out of their body. I like that, but sex. Yes. Ooh. Well, the thing is that, like, originally, Slanesh quite literally was was created because of the sexual and psychological debauchery of of the Eldar. Although I think in fantasy his lore is a bit different. I think Slanesh was born some other way. But I, I, for, I forget in the fantasy lore how that works. Is Slanesh like still technically the youngest chaos? He, he god is the he is the youngest chaos god. Yes. Oh, they passed those willpower checks. That's not good. Oof! I'm losing this fight. I gotta get in there. Blood, let us go. Yes, my children, slaughter them all. The main problem with corn is that you can only ever really afford one, like, or maybe two armies. Otherwise, you're always going to be in debt and constantly have to be on the run fighting. Yes. But the thing is that, so Chaos Demons, they cannot, they cannot, they cannot stay in the real world very long. Lynn Scarbrand like take a lot of damage, man. I am. Oh, it's my fault. Bad at games. Hello, bad at game. I too am bad at game. That is why my hero is certainly dying right now. But that's okay. That's okay. Cause deep down, you'll all forgive me, right? I hope you'll forgive me. Luckily, Scarbrand is just murdering everything in sight. My god, my- Oh, there we go! Ah, yeah, blood everywhere, yes. Blood for the blood god. Looks to be just a flesh wound so far- Exactly. He's three quarters down on his health, yes. That's just a flesh wound. I may have to pull him back just a smidge. Just a smidge. Just a smidge. Yeah, and these guys are slow as dirt, so... And yeah, obviously, it makes sense with- the corn units, you have no range aside from your skull cannons. Yeah, no. Uh, you should have no range at all, actually. Where, where, where is the where's the benefit of blood for the blood god if you can't get up and take the skulls yourself? Well, I mean, the skull cannons are also pretty just motorcycles. Yes! On them. Yes! And this is why I like chaos demons. 
I should, uh, well, we just started. Brand new game. We're on turn two. Uh, first time playing Chaos Demons here. You mean porn? No, Chaos Demons. This is... No, because every faction... Every modern god is considered their own faction. And then there are Chaos Demons, which is Daniel, and he's the worst, and no one Daniel. likes him. Daniel. Fine. I have played... Oh, no, I take it back. I've played, like, one... Or I've played, like, 15 rounds of Bellacore. That's all I did. But Bellacore has got, like, the... Bellacore has got... He, He's got like, he's the vanilla lore. He's a warrior of chaos. No, he's not he, he a is chaos the, demon. He is the original demon prince. He is the very first demon prince yeah, to ever Yeah, but he's under the warrior of chaos faction, so he is a warrior of chaos. Bellacore should be like one of the toughest, meanest like bastards out there. He should be he one is. of the most powerful he chaos really demons. Is. He should be. He is. He is the the first chaos undivided greater de uh, sorry, demon prince. Now, funny thing about this game though is that I've noticed there's a bit of a difference in the uh, the overall reviews as of late. <laughs> yeah, because of the DLC stuff. Well, it's that, and it's the fact that the company came out and said, uh, "How dare you not like the fact that we're charging you thirty dollars or whatever twenty five dollars for two lords and nothing else and bug fixes? How dare you not like that?" And if you don't like it, we're, you know what we're gonna do? We're we're just we're just gonna well we're just not gonna do anything at all. How about that? <laughs> uh, let's see. Do I want skulls for the skull throne? We don't want to occupy. Hmm. I want skulls. More skulls. Wait, do people die the DLCs before they go on sale? I mean, honestly, I wouldn't if I was if I look. This game has a ton of problems. Alright. And I'm not gonna sit here and say you can't be a good person and buy the DLC. I'm saying that it's kind of silly to do so. Yes. Yes. But even then, like, in reality, in reality, oh, I've got more than this. Okay, increase mobility. Oh, come on. Maim kill and not burn? Oh, come on. That's not fair. Outpost available for $2,000. Here. Just for you, brother. You should not make one yet. Okay. Don't fine. make a outpost yet. You should make it at when I claim um Karak Eight Peaks, because that's where I'm gonna have most of my good buildings. Bad at game, I, I agree. This is a that is the best way to do that. The best way to play this game is wait for the DLC to go on sale. Deep, deep sale. Because so go into encampment stance and then just recruit a bunch of uh, Oh whoops. Oh well. Yeah, am I at war with anybody else, or is this it? It's just, it's you're only gonna be whatchamacallit. Uh... Malagor the Dark Omen changed Stop, stance to use the steep pants. That's what you're I read. Probably, uh, Camry's probably gonna declare war on you, and then uh, Wurzag is gonna, probably gonna declare war on you as well. That's he okay. gonna war on me first. Look, Verzag, the Great Green Prophet, is about to be Verzag the Headless, okay? Mordor. There's Mordor here? Oh my god. Gorgazan. Oh, I gotta go all the way over here? Okay. See, now, as, as a big fan of the Cornate and all that fun stuff. Ooh, what is this? Combat Trials. Oof, those are expensive. Jeez, those are expensive. But you get them in a single turn, so that's good. That's true, I do get them in a single turn. Ah, oh, man. Now, what's funny is that... <laughs> Creative Assembly's been going downhill for a while. I, I, I've, not been, I've not been uh, shy about that. But the fact that they straight up have the UK government. Oh, is your buddy playing Skate? He is Ron here. Sorry, I should probably introduce. Is Ron is playing the Scaven, and I am playing the Cornates. And apparently, I am. Uh, I'm going to war with them. Oh, I'm already at war with these people. Okay. 
the top knots have decided to be uh, my enemy. Although I do have another turn that I need because I have the Furies. Rat boy living his best. No, no, rat pe- No, rat people are bad. We do not approve of the rat people bad at games. I do not like. Okay, I like the rat people insofar as that I can massacre them in large droves. That is the only good thing. Literally playing Ikit right now. Oh my god! No! See, you like Ikit, don't you, freaking Ron? Yeah. Ew. Disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. You make me sick with your with your freaking rat people. Ooh. But no, so the, the, I think that they've been kind of going downhill for quite a while. And I think that when they release a press statement saying, well, if you don't buy this DLC, we are maybe kind of sort of not going to support this game anymore. And I was like, sounds to me like uh, you are uh, not wanting to support this game anymore. And to top it all off, to top it all off, the fact that they have the balls... To say, oh, we have 800 employees in a single in a single studio, working on one game series at a time, is ridiculous. And the fact that they just had what essentially comes down to the UK government paying them 20% of their overhead, and they're still saying that they're missing money. Yeah, they can go screw off really bad. They look. I'm I'm sympathetic to the fact that uh, you know times are tough. Uh, th this company is not suffering all that much. Not at all. And if they are, it's their own freaking doing. Ooh. More chaos, boys. I'll eventually get there. Good lord, this man is so freaking slow. So, Ron... Ron, yeah. last time we played, you didn't answer any of my questions, and I feel bad about that. Okay. So, I have questions for you now. Okay. Alright, so, when, you know how women, some women get chest implants, right? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> Alright, so when they die, do they keep the implants, and do you think grave robbers, whenever they, like, try to go get... You know, they do grave robbing. Do you think what they find is like a skeleton and two gelatin blobs? I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man. Oh, let me see what else we got. Hold on. No, 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 no. No, that's not it. Or is the other one? See, I even I even was nice enough to write down my, my thoughts because I didn't want to forget any of them for you. Some of them are no longer applicable, though, because the time has passed. Ah, decisive victory. Well, I won't make you suffer through another one of my battles since you're being kind enough and not doing that to me. Uh, I'm going to do uh, Skulls for the Skull Throne. Or no, I'm going to occupy the settlement. Another fortress for corn. Oh my god, there's another one? Okay, I guess I'm at war with the top knots, and the top knots are everywhere, so that, that works. You should only uh, get shit that are capitals, because skulls are actually really rare unless you're constantly raising settlements. Oh, I'm going to be constantly raising settlements then. That's the answer to that. Yes, for the Skull Throne's cause. Unassigned skill points? That's not acceptable. Alright, so, Ron, do you know where they take those giant teddy bears? Like, what, like, so you go to, like, the carnivals and shit, and you, like, you, you, you win a giant teddy bear, right? Like, what happens to those? I've, I've seen people know, win them, but I've never actually seen anybody do anything with them. Like, do they, I've never seen one in the garbage can, but, you like... See Malagor? I don't even know who that is. Who is that? The sunken Karnark. Narch. That, the Beastman guy. He's offering me 11,000 right now. Ele Why would he offer you 11,000? 
Non aggression pact. Dude, how big is your empire? You can you can see all my empire right now. It's all red, just like mine's red. What are you talking about? Yeah, look at that. You can see I have three settlements. How do you have three settlements? It's not fair. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. That looks like that looks like a giant pile of skulls. I want it. Every time that I do fights, sometimes it drops skulls for you. Ooh, skulls. Non-aggression pact. Malagor the Dark Omen. But he's not offering me money. Do the counter offer and then do uh, balance trade offer. Just do balance trade offer. I get one one dollar. <laughs> I demand I kind of, a dollar. I kind of already, you know, took all of his money. You bastard. Well, I got a dollar now. You're gonna need that dollar. I'm gonna need that dollar. You are correct. This dollar is gonna go towards so many children. Like, they need toys this year, okay? Ooh, look what I found. I found the top knots again. Ah, oh, close victory. Well, again, you're not making me do your so I'm just going to go ahead and do that again. Next time you do a manual fight, I just want you to give me just uh, Scarbrand so I show you how I, I play him. Let's see. Blood for the blood god. Raise the settlement. Perform blood rites to summon reinforcements. Hmm. Skulls of the Skull Throne. Thousands of skulls. Now, where is that main settlement? Oh, I can't see it yet because I am a blind demon. Anyway, so, demons. <laughs> they can't stay in the world for very long unless they have a host. Uh, and there are no hosts that I know of that can withstand a chaos demon prince or a greater demon of corn. So, really, what it comes down to is that chaos demons essentially just... They, they, you're not, you're not in the world for very long. So technically, Scarbrand can be summoned. Sorry, was the fight. C is really Baker, but Warhammer Three is fun. So what? The, man, whatever. No, no, don't get me wrong. Of of the Warhammer games, this one is definitely the best. Um, but I would say that it is. I, I genuinely think they do not want to support this game anymore. I don't know why, though. That's the part that I'm kind of like, I'm, I'm thinking about. Like, why would they not want to... Ooh, a cultist of corn. What do you do? Uh, he has an ability. Oh, by the way, also, I forgot. When you do Skull for the Skull Throne, it gives you an ability in battle that allows you to just summon blood, blood letters. Yes. Out of the portal. I like but that. they're timed units, so they only live for like maybe a minute or two. That means nothing to me. Yeah, no, CA has been bankrupt for a while, but I think that literally they are running out of money, and I think that the amount of money they have spent they're on this. Okay, they're in the same issue as, um, whatchamacallit? Fucking. The people who made Payday. Um, what's that? They made one, like, good title. The rest are, like, just okay. And, like, they're just hemorrhaging money, but they're only barely staying afloat because of that one title that everyone loves, which is Warhammer. I, I don't think that's true. I think that they've, they've made a lot of good titles. I mean, just, just ask anybody who likes Total War, and I guarantee you they're going to say one of two games. Realm 1... Medieval 2. Like, it, it, I don't know anybody who's played those games, even if they're not good at them, that doesn't like them. You know, I don't know anybody that doesn't like those games. If you like strategy games, if you like Total War, it is Total War amped up to 11. And it's really good. So I don't see why they would bother, or why they would... I don't see why they can't do something like that again. I know whenever... Like, I know that whenever, uh, was, was that kind of recent one, Troy? What a dumpster fire that game was. See, um, I saw it, I saw what it was, and what it essentially was, was this game amped up to 11. All the things that were wrong with it, they, they pushed it even further. Ooh, commandments, what's this? 
Construction minus 10%. Ooh, melee attack 1% all armies, yes. MAIM! Chance of plague spreading, no, no, no. Income from all buildings, 5%. We're going to do recruitment rank plus 1. But, I mean, like, I mean, even then, there's still some good stuff they, that, that they've produced, right? I would say that Warhammer 3 was as close as they're going to get to a great Warhammer game. One, I really enjoyed for a little while until I realized there were so many glaring problems. Two was a continuation of all the things that were wrong. Three corrected the ship on lots of stuff. They put in mechanics that I really wish were in the first one. Um, especially for the Warriors of Chaos. But their very, very, I guess, predatory DLC system and their expansive bloat and the fact that Warhammer, in my opinion, has ruined the company. I think that Warhammer was such a massive freaking success. They think they can do everything else the same way they did Warhammer. And the problem is that GW people, like me, are so dumb, we will pay all sorts of money for little things. I mean, good lord. I'm willing to pay like 50 bucks for some goddamn plastic. I'll take it back. Not anymore. It used to be. Uh, so you, it, you did that to yourself. Yeah, no, I did that to myself. Ex abs absolutely. I did it to myself. And as somebody who bought all the DLC from one, and I think some of the DLC from two, I never, I actually kind of started to think about it and go, am I actually having fun when I play two? And the answer was no, and so I kind of held back. I did I did buy the Vampire Coast uh, ones because I, I, I actually was rather fascinated with the mechanics, and then I decided, yeah, they're not that fun anyway. I, I you know, again, I, I, I maybe one day I'll buy them just to kind of see how they are, but for the most part, I'm not interested. And at the time, the DLC from 1 and 2 were completely separate. So if you bought the Beastmen from 1, you had to buy a supplementary pack in 2 to get the Beastmen, which was retarded. Though they took that away. Oh, really I'm not allowed to say that word. No, I am because you have, uh, you're on the spectrum, right? You're fine. I'm not, I mean, I have ADHD. Does that give, give me the pass? Welcome to the goddamn club. <laughs> All right. Are you retarded? Yes. <laughs> okay. Oh. I spend fifty dollars on plastic. Yes, yes, I am retarded. <laughs> oh man. Um. <laughs> That's right for the blood grod. Uh, I'm not even gonna you know, look. Oh, okay, hold on. Is that siege tower just a giant like burning skull with like the corn symbol? That's awesome. If you want to fight, it's up to you, man. No, nah, nah, I'm not going to make you do that. I'm going to occupy this, though. Yes. Ooh, a Blood Reaper. Uh, Hellhounds, don't care about those. Income generated 20. Let's see here. I'll do that one. But no, there, there's... Oh my god, just so much. Give me that. But I think... I, so, one of the things that I actually noticed with, with um, GW is that they have actually... Around the time Warhammer 1 was really successful, and, and my timeline's a little bit fuzzy now, but then Warhammer 2 came out, and they were, they were so just, they were so in the money for Warhammer, they abandoned, uh, was it, the Three Kingdoms? Because Three Kingdoms is still, to this day, not a finished product. They never finished the game. They, were, they had an entire DLC lineup, they had multiple factions and everything, and then they realized, well, what if we did to, to everybody else what we did to Warhammer? Which is cut it up into actual individual segments... Instead of you are just a skull to me. Don't call me in, don't call me in. Instead of actually like, you know, finishing the game. And I think that project is also now dead on the vine because I think they realize, oh, we've expanded way too fast, we can't support this. And honestly, we we really have no interest in doing this. So they kind of already stopped the momentum from finishing the three kingdoms, 
which wasn't that good of a game to begin with. And they kind of burned that to the ground. Now, I don't know. I'm not like it. I don't keep track of CA, like, all the time. It's just kind of something that I've noticed in the background. Are you about to take the floating village? Which is fine, actually. It's outside of my, my, um, my realm, so I really don't care. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Now, let's go to Dragonborn Mine. I'm gonna find me orkies. I'm gonna find me orkies. Come on. Come on. And enter. Oh man. But I, I, I genuinely think that in 10 years' time, Creative Assembly will not exist. I think they will eventually shutter their doors. I think that Warhammer was their greatest victory and their greatest defeat. I don't think they're going to live another 10 years. They have 800 employees for what essentially comes down to one title every three to five years. I mean, well, say one title. Maybe like one title every other year. Um, they have produced nothing but garbage... For so long, Warhammer 3, and I'll admit, I'll admit, better than I thought, but still suffers from a lot of the same problems that the other games have. And instead of learning these lessons, they have decided to purposefully not learn these lessons. They've decided to say, hey, um, we hear what you're saying. We're not going to do any of that stuff. Like the siege battles. The siege battles, they have, quote unquote, tried to fix them, but they have tried to fix them by doing... By, by essentially not abandoning the things that people don't like, but simply just changing the things people don't like in order to meet what they think it should be. Whenever they already had a really good system before. Like, if you just gave us Medieval 2 with Warhammer, people would eat it up. Like, it would... Uh, classic Warhammer fans would absolutely love it. And I'm not gonna lie, the province system is absolutely atrocious. It's absolutely god-awful. The fact that you have a limited number of armies, you cannot change your garrisons, <laughs> you, not controlling an entire province is actually a hindrance to your, to your empire, to where if you know you can't take an entire province, there is no point in starting there. All that stuff, it, 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 it eventually takes its toll. What's this? Growth plus five. Yeah, might as well. Why not? Why not? Now, can I... Can I, uh... Korgux. Krlorgan. Tell you what. Let's see. How much that guy got? Oh, God. Nope. Can't keep him. Get rid of him. Can't keep him. But yeah, I think that Warhammer was such a massive success. They expanded horrendously fast. And now they're trying to do to to every other game title or to every other title what, what they did to Warhammer. And I think I think Total War Pharaoh is going to be an absolute crap show. And I think that Oh, uh, is that even out yet? I can't no. even No. I know I know that there's been some people that have actually played it, or at least gotten like the beta or something, and they go, it doesn't it, it there is no uniqueness to any of it. Like, they, they've managed to take one of the most interesting time periods in history and make it boring. And I think that's kind of... That's an accurate statement, not just for Pharaoh, but I think it's this, an accurate statement for Troy. I think it was an accurate statement for a lot of Rome, too. Yeah, so Total War Pharaoh is their new... Uh, their, their, so what, what usually Total War I've seen them do is they'll make a major title... And then they'll have a bunch of mechanics that they want to test out, and so they'll sell a game with those mechanics that really is not that much of a game. A Pyrrhic victory, that's fine. And... Skulls. I... 
I really don't know much about it. I remember somebody asking me if, if I would play it, and I, 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 I don't have any intention of playing a game that I'm probably not going to enjoy. Uh, not to say that I'll never play it, it just doesn't look like a game that I'm very interested in. A tool of yes. But yeah, now I, I was listening to somebody talk about their experience with it, and it was basically every faction plays the same. There really is no difference between all these different groups. They're boring. Um, which, again, I will never understand why... I... Wait a minute, hold on. Uh, wait, can my Chaos Cultist become a, uh, a Demon Prince or whatever? No. That's dumb. But the cool thing is he has an ability that allows him to summon in, like, the blood letters, like, as a thing that you just get off of him. And then you can upgrade it so he can, instead of summoning, like, two units of blood letters, you can summon in one blood bloodthirster. Ooh. So can I rec Okay, so the, the heroes that I recruit, those are just, they're all demons of corn. So they can become greater demons? No, it has to be the lords. Like, the, the like... The Herald of Corn. The Herald of Corn. The actual Lord, not the heroes. Spawn of Corn, Blood Reaper. They're hu yeah, they're humans then, right? I guess. I don't know what. I guess maybe it's in, in Mortal Empires. You only have access to Heralds of Corn and not the human lords. Well, because like I mean, you can you can have human lords in a chaos demon army. Also, you can have humans in a chaos demon army. For that way, I don't see a herald of corn anywhere. No, that's the the lord, not the hero. Oh, like the lord. You know how like Scarbrand's a lord. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I mean. Right. All right, so these guys then. Oh, yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying now. Can I, I wish I could see their actual, like, stat line and whatnot, but oh well. You mean? Their, their skill trees, I wish I could see their skill trees. Oh, I mean, it changes when they upgrade to, whatchamacallit, bloodthirsters. Ooh. I want some bloodthirsters. I mean, almost every skill tree in a in corn thing is just do damage. Yes. That's the thing that's... that's Main, yeah. you know, Maim, kill, burn. Yes, that is that is that is that describes. No, that's literally half the skills in the skill tree is called maim, kill, murder, pillage, rape, destroy. You are describing. Kill, you destroy. Are, uh, wait, what? The, From, oh, Malagor's declaring war on me. I don't know why. I, I would very like it if you didn't call me in because it would destroy my reliability. Why would it destroy your reliability? Because I'm trading with them. Oh, that sucks. Well, they're about to be and dead. And I also have a non-aggression pact with them. That sounds like their problem. <laughs> yeah, but... Now, another thing that I think is going to happen is I think GW is going to collapse under the weight of its own incompetence relatively quickly, too. Here we go, here we go, here we go! I may not be able to pull this off. Ooh, I'm gonna lose a lot of guys. Hey, we can fight it, man, and I can, uh, I can, I, I, I just want to show you how the hell I play, uh, Scarbrand. I will never turn over my lord. Come on, man, please. <clears throat> oh, I feel good. I'll let, I'll let you play as Queek Headtaker. Uh, but Queek is, Queek is, <sighs> Queek is sad. Wait, didn't he start over in Lustria? I don't know. I never played the first two. Oh, that's right. Yeah. So he usually starts over next to the uh, the the lizardmen. Which, by the way, lizardmen I love. They are like just so pig-headed and so like I don't understand what you are telling me. If it's beyond their programming, that they uh -huh. will. Yeah. The great one, right? Yeah, the old one, the great old one. Yes. The slons and like the uh, the old ones. Oh, they're they're not, they're not the old ones. The old ones are something different. Alright, fine, Ron. You can play as Scarbrand. Don't get him killed, please. I would appreciate yeah. it. Thank you.
And the Furies will you come over here. Yes. I'm not gonna lie, him having two different color eyes is kind of weird. I think it's because of, like, him falling from, I guess not Grace, but from the top of Blood of Corn's throne or whatever, wherever he got shoved from. I don't remember that lore, to be perfectly honest. I mean, Scarbrand was always, like, one of the, the chief warriors of Corn. Ah, yes. Human warriors. Wait, hold on. There are there are marauders of corn, so why can't I why can't I get marauders of corn? What do you mean you can? No, I can get chaos warriors. Huh? I can get chaos warriors. I can't recruit marauders of corn. Or at least I haven't found a way to do it yet. I don't know why they call him a chaos cultist, but okay. Wait, you bastard. Ooh, what's this? Ugg Black Bog. Why does that have a hero symbol on it? You're going there now. It's because that's the 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 wogs like "Quote unquote leader." Ah, we're gonna do this the corn method. We're gonna just charge straight in. No thought to uh, what's gonna be good for me. We're gonna dive right in. We bye, Timmy. Timmy's dead. Ma. Oh, you just run him around like a goddamn chariot is what you do. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, okay, you don't even, you don't even actually, like, okay. I thought I was going to see them do, like, the jump, jump attack like they do in, uh. Kill them. Kill them. Go, go, go! My Furies will kill them all, yes! I need to get some blood letters. Ah, uh, there's no synchronized kill animations, it's so sad. Ew, trolls! Get away, trolls! Why do they sound like they have something in their throat? What are you even hitting? Oh no! Oh my gosh. An orc is actually knocking a chaos warrior back? That doesn't make sense. I always find it funny that like an orc can do some damage to a chaos warrior. Chaos warriors should be eating their freaking lunch. Get him! No! You goddamn coward! My cultist is freaking scared! He's like, no, please, daddy, don't send me into the rape dungeon! Get him! Get him! Okay, y'all are getting overwhelmed, that makes sense. Oof. Get him. What are you still doing over here? Oh my god. Yes, back over here. Oh my gosh, I had a unit that wasn't even in combat. Ah! Kill that lord. Kill that lord! Oh 
Yes. Get him. Get him, bloodthirsters or blood letters, sorry. And here we go. Yes. Expert level micro. Yeah, much of the same way that uh, if I just forget that somebody exists. Yes, expert level micro. I appreciate that. Oh, get him. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yes. Now, I do enjoy a good skull crusher. Skull crushers are great. Now, my army is gone after this. Even if I win, the army is dead. Because the army is essentially just absolutely massacred at this point. And I don't think I can replace some of these guys either. Everybody you have is kind of easily replaceable, except maybe your Warriors of Corn, the heavily armored ones. Uh, I mean, even though I have places to pick those guys up. It, honestly, my Warriors of Chaos sound like like Christian Bale did it as Batman. Like I, I it just it just sounds like that to me. If these if you told me this was somebody trying out for like Batman, I would believe you. You know what? You know what we need here? You know what we need here, Ron? We need some Sigvald. We we need we need some uh, some cannibalistic orgies, okay? Get him! Ugh! Come on, come on, kill him! Bye, bye, Terry. Well, Terry's dead. Oh nope, Terry's alive. Oh, there's James. Hi, James. Why won't they break? The, the commander's dead, though, isn't he? Yeah. Okay. So why is he not? Why are they? Why are they not running? Oh my God! Why are you not breaking? Why are these bastards not breaking? I need more Chaos Warriors. I mean, it's taken my entire army, but we're gonna win. Ideally. God dang it. Okay. You freaking savages. Kill them. Maim them. Oh good, we have full units behind us. Fantastic. Oh my god. Okay, speaking of things that have gotten bad, I should be able to spread their formations out to decrease arrow fire. No! I lost my freaking chaos demon. Ah, oh, so sad. That's sad. That makes me sad. I lost him. I lost my, uh, what's your who's it's? And I've lost all my blood letters. Now all I've got are my warriors of chaos here. Alright, what? Is there no charge at all? Hey, army last. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, it's a pyrrhic victory. I mean, even if I win, it's it's not going to be much of a win. As you can see, how use I mean, Scarbrand doesn't really need a lot of help. Oh man, two hundred sixty-eight kills. 
Oh, I mean, my, uh, my, whatever this guy was, I don't know what he was, the Blood Reaper or whatever, he got 136. Almost, it's half, but still. My, my cultist got 72. Aw, oh, yeah. Chaos Warriors of Corn are showing people how to make, how to do business, man. Draug de Ruffy. I like that. Draug the Ruffy. Let's see what else did I did I what else, what other questions did I have for Ron? Oh, did you know there's a Furby RPG? You know there's a My Little Pony RPG? No, that I, yeah, I know that. I know that. I know that exists. There's also a My Little Pony mod for Hearts of Iron. That's weird. It is weird. Let's see, uh, skulls. Yes, more skulls. Give me skulls. Ah! Uh, I like how they say killed in battle like a demon can, like, actually die. There's no such thing as killing a demon. Even in the Warhammer Fantasy or 40k universe, there's no such thing as you kill the demon. The best you can do is banish them. Hates Slanesh. Oof. I can't imagine why the violent group hates the other debauched group. I don't know why that would happen. What's this? Ooh. Now I want some blood crushers in here, you know? A tool of corn to rock. There we go. Now let's get some more oh, boys up in here. You also have unholy manifestations to keep up your bloodthirst. Your yeah, I think it's your blood. Whatever it's called. The red bar next to your fucking... Uh, however many units you have. The mm -hmm. higher it is, better replenishment, more corn corruption. And Ooh. just o overall upgrade. If you let it go low, though, it'll give you negative effects. That's not good. We don't like negative yeah. effects. That's why you, it, it... Constant fighting keeps it up. Well, I mean, I have to travel. That's the problem. <laughs> And right now I gotta let all my guys heal because they just they are just absolutely destroyed in there. Uh, how long is it gonna take? Three turns to fully replenish all my troops. I guess I'm not going anywhere for a little bit. Might as well. Oh, see, the the one the one benefit of the new version of actually back to your original question from like what an hour ago, Age of Sigmar. Age of Sigmar was how can we make fantasy more like 40k? And you can see that in the new models in 40k where they're they're trying to like kind of make some of these pieces mirror them mirror each other. And I don't like it. I don't like anything about it. I like Warhammer Fantasy, and I wish that I wish that it would stay Warhammer Fantasy. Instead, they made it like I don't, I don't even know how to describe Warhammer Age of Sigmar because they've made the scales so high it doesn't matter. Like the lore is dumb, it's very disjointed, it's it's not very good. And old Warhammer Fantasy lore was more down to earth and yet ridiculous. Where, you know, hey, you had an army of a few hundred people, and, like, yeah, the consequences of losing was the deaths of a few hundred people, you know. But, like, now it's, oh, the billions of souls in the warp, and it's like, okay, okay. After a certain point, the numbers are just, they're, they're just numbers on a paper, they don't mean anything. You know, if every single battle is, like, the be-all, end-all, then there really isn't a be-all, end-all. 
Now, can I get... Nope. I cannot get another Blood Reaper. God dang it. That was the only Blood Reaper I was going to get. Ugh, that makes well, me sick. Um, if you take... You do have Galbaraz. Galbaraz has a special building that allows you to make more of those Blood Reapers. Yeah, but I have to actually buy it. Yeah, obviously. And I don't think I have the money for it. It's like 7,000 or 8,000, I think. Ugh. I'm just having to sit here and let my units come back. Hello. A thousand. I can't balance the offer. That makes me sad. Whatever, fine. I'll accept your thousand gold and turn it into a thousand fiery eyes. And then I'm coming for your head. Uh-oh. I got a beast man on me. Oh my god, is it a full stack too? Which, by the way... That's another thing I don't like about the new mod uh, new Modern Warfare. The new, uh... New Modern Warfare. Yeah, I don't know why. Uh, the new Total War is, like, everybody's got a Doom stack. Like, a unit, an army of full 20 dudes. Kind of rare. Kind of rare. In this game, it's like, ah, you can't do anything unless, where you, unless that's where you start. I'm still stuck letting my guys just freaking heal up. That battle was... I may have won that battle, but it was just so goddamn heavy. I can't even... Say what you will about Doom Stacks, but running 20 Doom Wheels is just fun. That sounds like cancer. Now, we did do a game where uh, Ron and I fought each other, and I was playing as Sigvald. And, uh, hey, how'd that go, Ron? Fuck you. <laughs> was, it, was it fun for you, sir? Sure. Oh, it was great. He he told me how much he'd win, and then he lost. Strength from flesh. Heal per second. Ooh. I like that. I don't think it's going to be very useful, but I like it. Uh, let's see. You want more bloodthirsters? Melee defense. Yeah, you, you're my line holders. You're my damage dealers. Well, but anyway, the point is, like, back in the day, Total War games, usually, if you had an army of, like, five or six units, plus a general, like, that was expensive, and you could, but you could do some damage with it, you know? That could be a raiding army, that could be a... Uh, an army to knock out smaller settlements, but not the big settlements. Like you actually had to think about that because you didn't need a doom stack to fight off every single thing. But because they limit your armies, that's exactly what you have to do. And the fact that you have to have oh hello ambush. Oh Wait, yeah, uh, I'm being so, ambushed. Yeah, the beastmen, their stance is same as yeah, Skaven, yeah, yeah. The, the, no matter what, ambushed. yeah. Oh, they have a chance to ambush. I think it's just so kind of the only the only people who have that is technically Beastmen, Skaven, Anithanar for High Elves, and then technically Zinch if they teleport into you. I need someone to explain to me the logistics of me in encampment mode, them ambushing me, and then all of a sudden us traveling. Like, we're in an encampment stance. That should be impossible to, like... You're walking from one side of your camp to the other. I mean, clearly. That's how you got ambushed. I mean, obviously. But usually there's, like, walls and stuff. I don't even know. Since when does corn use walls, huh? Uh, corn uses walls. No, that's your lie. No, I'm not. They use the walls of the people that, uh... Uh-oh. Oh, it looks like somebody's starting off strong. Hello. Now, let's see. Where are we? 
Oh, what do we got, got there? a lot of harpies. Yeah, he does. Feral manticores. Cow rock stone heart. I don't know what that is. Ambush withdraw location. So I can just withdraw my oh, units. Basically, yeah, if you run to there, it'll you're you know how you you see that little withdraw thing on in the bottom? It won't work until unless until it turns green when you have your units inside that square. I'm not gonna try to fight this if I can avoid it. Oh wait, I got friends. Ah, fine. I'm not gonna have a choice, am I? Yeah, they're not gonna give me a choice. I'm gonna have to fight at least part of it. And they got a freaking giant, or is it giant? Yeah, giant. Ooh, look at that! Look at that! He's got horns. Ah, and we got Bestigors. Uh, oh no, sorry, Ungors. Not Bestigors. Yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm stuck. I, they're they're actually not doing a bad job of screwing me over here. Oh boy. Yes. If I can find... There he is. Malagor, Dark... Whatever. Oh, he's, he's flying. What a dick. Let's see. Range damage. Hit him. Shoot him. Kill him. Kill him! Kill him! Come on, buddy! Come on! Come on! Give me a good charge! Give me a good charge! Come on, Fred! You can do it, Fred! That was weak as hell! God dang it, Fred! You bastard! And rampage. Get him away. I'm busy murdering people. You go this way. Yeah, all these guys are now dead. Stop it. Over here. We've got more beastmen to kill, which, by the way, beastmen, yes, very good. Oh my god, I think I got all of them to go into Rampage. Perfect. Alright, well, I wanted to actually run away, but not anymore. Now we're just going to kill everybody. Can I, can I kill... where's their hero? Where's their commander? Go over there, go. Fine, kill the giant, god dang it. Kill them. Kill them. Wait, how are you why are you over here? Winning much? Oh, we're always winning. When are we not winning here, Grim? Oh god, they're gonna kill Scarbrand. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Run, Scarbrand, run! Run! Oh, you're done for. He's, he's, he's unstable. No! He's no! It's not fair! No! Well, that's it. This army's done. I should have run, but I, like, wiped out a few of their units. By the way, all their units are free. Free? 
Yeah, they don't cost anything. The only thing they have is army capacity, so... Okay, that must be a new mechanic for the Beastmen, because I don't remember that. Yeah, all of their units are free, but, like, they have, like, a unit cap, like Tomb King, where they can only have a certain amount unless they upgrade it. Uh, okay. Get him! Get him! Hey, oh my god, that's awful. It's absolutely, a, it's just absolutely atrocious, actually. The fact that they have free units. Beasts are actually really, really fun now. I mean, if they have free units, I should have tried them. I mean, because I've when I first played Beastmen, they they were not that good. They were, they were severely underpowered in melee. They were only really good on the charge. They were absolute trash almost everywhere else. But don't get me wrong, it was fun to like cheese the system and give your uh, what was it called? Your um, Beastmen were always a faction that I never really enjoyed too much. But what was what was the guy? That's it. Your your uh, your melee specialist. Give him like a charge boost and then give him like a health potion so that he could just stay in combat horrendously long. I like how I'm losing, but they're, they're, they've lost a lot of dudes as well. God dang it. Rod, kill him! Where's the charge? Where's the goddamn charge there? Oh, they're broken. Yep, they're all broken. Bye bye. That's the end of that army. Bye, army! A valiant defeat. Oh well. I will defeat Malagor the Dark Omen later. Only 56 kills. My cultist got more kills than Scarbrand. How? You didn't you didn't let me control Scarbrand, friend. No. No. I'm also not going to I'm not going to freaking micro every single battle. See, this is what I like about Vlad. I just send Vlad <laughs> I just said I like, to, I like to, I like to have just one guy live forever. Yes, I like Vlad because I simply go here. Here's an army, and he goes, "Ah, you mean breakfast?" <laughs> it's like, ah, yes. I also heal on the battlefield. The more damage I do, the more I heal. Ah, yes, I understand. You are fast. I am faster. You have a horse. That's unfortunate. I'm going to eat you and the horse. But first, I'm going to eat the horse whole. Oh. Sorry, Melee Lord of the Sword of Cain. Okay. <laughs> no, see, Vlad, Vlad von Karstein is one of my favorite characters in Warhammer lore. Uh, and in this game, because he just he eats every other unit. Like, he just... He just unless they are severely over-leveled on him, it's just a... Just isn't just it, you can't really top him. Like I think what we had Leon Lancure or whatever, who uh, was like level sixty four. I remember like wow, how a bad hat. Okay, I'm gonna take the man with the bad hat. Also, I do enjoy the flaming sword. Big fan. Let's get them over here. Oh wait, uh, Korgix is ready for duty? Is he back? Is he an immortal lord? It's a lord, not your hero. Oh, okay, yeah. I was like, oh, well, he's like, what? <laughs> I was like, I don't understand.
Ooh. I had Tyrion running around with the Sword of Cain. had like almost 2,000 weapon strength. He would just solo armies. One shot the enemy lord, then just casually mow down the rest of the army. It was dumb. Fun, but dumb. See, what's funny is that Warhammer Tabletop, that's exactly what he does. Like, if you put a... a uh, now, granted, they're still, like, you know, they're still mortal, but still. Ooh, ten skulls per turn. That may not be the worst thing in the world. Can be converted into a bastion. What's a bastion? Oh, but uh, it's the the outpost stuff. Hmm. Watch it. It's sword. Oh, okay. Let's see. Replenish troops. Spread corruption. Are you in your tower? No. Or like in your in like city? No. Why not? Oh, like uh, you're not in Galbraz? No. Doesn't look like yes, it. You are. You're in Galbraz, right? Is he? Oh yeah, yeah, he is. You want to know why you're not replenishing? Why? Malagoy shit, shit, shit is any province he's in negates all punishment. Oh my god, that's retarded. That is broke as hell. That makes me sad. Well, I'm kind of stuck then. Not a whole lot I can do. Even I mean I can order those, but I mean I'm I'm not gonna get them in time. If he wants to really if he wants to really do a number on me, he can. Now whenever I get Scarbrand back, I'm gonna snap your goddamn neck. Ah yes, the crooked moons would like to speak to me. Whatever, fine. Although I don't really know about orcs not wanting to fight, you know, what is it? Uh, 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 God, what's his name? One of the, one of my favorite orc heroes in 40k. Dumgor. Uh, Tuska. Oh. Tuska, demon killer. He's 40k lore. He is the orc warlord who specifically fought uh, chaos demons on his ship, and he was like, that was. Fun, and you're telling me I can do this forever? And essentially, he invades a cornate, like, demon world where he, like, spends the rest of his life just murdering demons. And Corn was so happy with him that essentially the entire planet resurrects every 24 hours and the fight just restarts. So, Tuska Demon Killer, every 24 hours, essentially just keeps respawning on a planet in the Eye of Terror. Hello. Oh boy. He looks like a, a rat version of Bane. Do you want me to spectate or do you want me to help? I would like help. This is Thorak, by the way. Iron Brow. He's a legendary lord. Ah, versus a regular lord. Orcs of 40k lore is so fun. You are correct, bad. Oh, and you are... Wait, are you ambushing or are they ambushing? I'm ambushing them. Oof. And they're still gonna kick your ass. Yeah, or orcs in general are fun. Just because of their, their silliness and... Well, I mean, mostly their silliness. Their lore is like... It always feels like it's never that serious. But... Orcs in general are just so horrendously vicious and violent. And give me whatever you want, I guess. Oh, 
Ooh, Vermintide. Now that's a game that I'm wondering if you enjoy, Vermintide or Darktide. I like Darktide, it's just I don't really have a lot of people to play with. Well, if it goes on sale, I will see if it's worth it. How about that? Okay. Uh, I like the theory that the only reason the Emperor of Mankind is still alive is because he he's a legend among the orcs that they believe he can't die. Well, if you remember, in 40k lore, the, uh, the, the, when the Emperor wanted to eliminate orcs from him, or from the galaxy, he almost did it. He almost single, within a few decades, did exactly that. Did exactly that. With, uh, what was it? I forget the actual orc's name. But there was an orc that was just like the biggest and the baddest and he, he took him down. I think, I, I'm not mistaken with Horus, but I could be wrong about that. Maybe I'm mis mixing up my 40k lore. Yes, Horus, great Primarch, famous Primarch, one of my favorite Primarchs. Sad he died. Sad, sad. I guess I'll just have to sit with Fulgrim and, uh... I actually, I do, I do enjoy, um... What was his name? I do like Abaddon. Even though he's... What are you doing? Me? Yeah. I was just, uh, getting everything ready. Okay. Ninja rats! Go, go, go! Ah, uh, warp th was it warp fire throwers? What do these guys do? Well, throw stuff, do something. Hit him! Now. There's lots of old theories about why the Emperor doesn't die. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, so the uh, Legendary Lords don't like my uh, my Night Runners, so there's that. Yes, yes. Now, you know, here, here's another thing. One thing that sucks about playing Skaven in, in, in any kind of like fantasy or Age of Sigmar, painting them. If you want to paint them to any standard other than spray paint brown, I mean, you will spend years of your life painting Skaven armies. Also, I do, I do wish they had 40k Skaven. I think they do, but like they're not in... There's no game where they exist. There is no, there is no game or lore or special scenario where they exist. Oof. They're getting the Nickelodeon juice, guys. Good lord, that okay, those warp fire throws are destroying the corollaries. Go, baby, go! Skaven are mostly disposable. Paint the weapons team is fancy. Everything else is just cannon fodder. Yeah, but I'm the kind of person that when I paint, um, I like everything to be at relatively the same standard. Now, that comes with its own set of problems. Because that means that my commanders, my captains, and everything look just as good as my uh, regular units. And it also takes me forever and a day to do a single unit. Which leads me to another real complaint. Like, why is it that every commander or captain is, like, decked to the goddamn nines with gear now? It's like, ah, yes, I have simply put 30 seals, 40 pouches, 6 handguns, 12 grenades, and also I have added a, a retinue next to him, and it's just like, why? Why? Uh, I'm, I've got Thoric Ironbrow over here just chilling out with uh, the Night Runners, just FYI. I think the real question is, why not? I mean, 
I think it's I think it's overdoing it, right? Like your legendary lords, like you're a generic space marine commander that's supposed to be just your commander of your army doesn't need to look that decked out. And you can actually glue that stuff on anyway. You don't need to have it be part of the model. Like, your named characters can look like that, right? But, like, let's look at the Age of Sigmar stuff. Age of Sigmar, like, Manfred von Karstein, back in the day, very simple model. Uh, horse, Reapers, uh, not Reapers, I guess, a scythe, and a sword. Very simple. Vlad von Karstein had, like, an orb and, like, a cape, and that, that was it. He had some pretty cool stuff on him. He had some pretty good detail, but he wasn't insane. Whereas now the models are massively intricate. Just insanely intricate. And I think it, I, it just kind of makes me not want to buy them. It makes me just want to find the old ones. I'd say the only one that is a named legendary lord in Age of Sigma right now that is like, okay, it's somewhat doable, is probably Sigvald. But I hate the new Sigvald. So there you go. Get him! Not a fan. Not a fan of the new Sigvald. Our tail's yours. Well, you've wiped out an entire set of Night Runners, so there you go. Get him! I would love to have a 40k game where I just do nothing but slaughter Skaven. Because Skaven are fun to kill. It's incredible how these guys haven't freaking, you know, run yet. Oof. I think it's because everyone's dead on his side except for him. So it powers such in our favor. Well... Bad at games, uh, or bad at game. Vermintide, yes, but I like 40k more. Like, when it comes down to, like, any kind of video game, most of the time I'm a 40k guy. I like 40k. I can't wait for the new Space Marine game, even though it's full of Primaris Marines, and I hate Primaris Marines. I like the bolt guns. I don't like the Marines. Yes. Just send everything in. Y feel free to speed this up if you wish. Get him. Let's see how bad this is going to go. Get him. Oof. That thing just exploded like a freaking confetti egg. Is he even getting hurt? Yes, he is. Finally. Well, your night runners are dead, sorry. And your white fire throws are about to die. That's fair. Also because we're talking about Doom Stacks earlier, I'm currently building a Doom Stack of Doom Wheels. Oh my god. Is there more? Okay. Look at all the dead rats that you're gonna replace well, look next at that round. One warp fire thrower team. Jeez, two hundred units. No, three hundred and seventy kills. Wait, what? That one full health warfire thrower, 370 kills. Oh, jeez, yeah, no, good lord, I didn't see that. Holy crap, I was like 197, 195, 370, good lord. Frickin' Doom Wheels. Ugh, GW, please bring back Warhammer Fantasy. I know I don't matter. I can't afford your, your current set of plastic anyway, but bring back Warhammer Fantasy. It's just way cooler. You okay? Ooh, yep. Just yawning. Don't yawn. Yep, yawning. Don't yawn. Yep. Stop yawning. Nope. Nope, the yawns Please. will the yawns will come. I have, I'm sorry, the yawns will come. Ugh. You know what's even funnier is there actually is a 
in the classic Warhammer Fantasy tabletop RP, there was a supplement for Skaven that was very, very in detail about the kind of Skaven you could play. It's actually very cool. Ugh, I can't afford those. So you can you can make a uh, what do they call the um, God darn it what are they called the uh, you know what I'm gonna make sure that if they come through our agril they automatically get attrition and I'm gonna take sunken Kernak next. See if they enjoy their old. Is it? They only have one settlement, right? Growth minus ten percent. God dang it! Melee attack minus ten percent. That's horrible. Hmm. Can you stop? Oh, sorry. Ah. That's what happens when you're up for as long as I am, usually. I start to get sleepy, boys. I've been up since fucking 10, man. Did you just say you've been up since 10 a.m.? No, I've been up since 9, but... 9 a.m. Yeah. I've... <laughs> okay. So, in my time, you're... you've been up since... Oh, eight. No, sorry, later. No, that's a lot. That's a, you, you, okay. You got up at noon. <laughs> I was like, wait, hold on. I'm going the wrong direction. What? Yeah. I, no, I got up at nine. No, no, my time. That's noon. <laughs> okay. Or sorry, like ten thirty, eleven. What time uh, did you get up? Six thirty. Okay. And what time is it for right now? Almost 11. <laughs> I used to get up at 4 in the morning. Yeah, those are good days. You get stuff done when you get up at 4 a.m. I used to do 4 to 12. Ugh. That's not too bad, actually. 4 to 12, that's not bad. It leaves you the rest of the day to do what you need to do. It just yeah, sucks to get up then, at like, 4. I could go home and take like a nap and then not just be fucked. Yeah, you could do that. But I can't do that, like, obviously with these shifts. I go to- I, I take a nap at 6, I'm done. <laughs> uh, they offer military ass- uh, access. 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 By the way, if you can put a- whatchamacallit, in, um... God dang it, the Red Horn tribe. What's up? You can put um, an outpost in the in Carrick Eight Beaks. Hold on, I'm getting invaded by this one Jagoff. Pyrrhic victory. I'm gonna lose my uh, warriors of corn, but might as well. There you go, Redhorn Tribe. How's it feel? God dang it, that dude is still here. That Jagoff is still in my backyard, and I can't do anything about him. I miss my vampire counts like ah full stack you're done. Let's see here. Plus two percent automatically colonize ruined regions in the province. To, it's to, wait what the hell? What do you mean automatically? Okay. So 2% to automatically colonize stuff nearby. Got it. Wait, is this research? What? What are you researching? 
Uh, blood feasting, which is a flag that grants regeneration. That's a good to have on corn, but uh, bl uh, r spread rage is one you should always get first. Ah, it's not bad. Well, I just need my army back up, so I have to just keep changing and ending turns. There's not a whole lot I can do right now. Kinda stuck. <laughs> they ain't not much I can do right now. Although I would like for that jerk off to leave. So that I may uh, actually start healing. And I think my uh, Scarbrand is actually... I think he's incapable of retaking this army so easily. I can't remember. Yeah, but he's still hurt. For one more turn. Finally! This is an army of blood letters. Nothing else I can do. Literally nothing else I can do. It's like, what, five turns I've had to burn? Do you own Morgheim? Me? Yes, you. No, I can't. I can't settle there because of the sunken... The Beastman thing, since it's a blood ground, I can't colonize it unless his herdstone is destroyed. Also, you can see all of my things. You, they're not just ruins to you, since we're allies. Oh, okay. Like, you can see how I own the floating village. It's because we're military allies. Blood ground. What is that? Um, basically, everything around a herdstone is part of a blood ground. Um, the more shit he destroys before activating it, the more, like, blood herd points he gets, which gives him bonuses. Like, more, like an additional army he can make, more unit capacity, shit like that. And uh, when he enacts it, that means everything in that area is a blood ground and can't be colonized unless, like, if it's ru in ruins. Okay. So I have to make that a ruin. Got it. No, you make the herdstone a ruin. Destroy the herdstone and you can colonize everything around it. I'm going to destroy every colony I come across. <laughs> and I mean, technically, it doesn't affect you because you can still just get things automatically. Yes. Yes. By the way, look at Carrick Eight Peaks now that I have it. Carrick Eight Peaks. Jeez, you've got a lot of buildings going on. Good lord, how do you have this much money? Well, I mean, it's just because of how Skaven works. I'm able to build things at starting at tier 5. That's ridiculous. Like, that sounds broken as sin. Ah! Thank you, Arg... 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 Ah, it redeems two hydrates. I don't know how, though. But I'll do it. It's fine. Why is that your following thing? Why do you ask questions? Why is that... <laughs> Good day. I am doing well. How are you? We are simply playing a game. Ah, redeem pets. Well, we have to get into a war for that first. We, by the here. way, since we're allies, we can never betray each other. Perfect. A we game's can so good. We never fight against each other. Well, so far, not so great, to be perfectly honest. Huh? Hold on, hold on, hold on. We are struggling because my legendary lord died. I need to transfer this. I need to transfer these units. Come on. I cannot transfer units. Son of a biscuit. You Why? have to get rid of. You have to get rid of the prodig prodigal son uh, the thing. Also, um, you don't need thing? to recruit them. You were able to replace them from. Go to Carnal Stair real quick. Go where? Uh, Carnal Stair. 
carnal the stick. Fucking, the, the fucking other guy, the one with the units. The the lord with the units. Oh, yeah, yeah. Go to the little thing, the the magnifying glass bottom left. And you bottom right, you can see the boot. It's it that's how you replace the lord without so you could have replaced him with Scarbrand that way instead of just remaking him. Never! Now I've got two armies. So now you can tra trade units. Now you can trade units. Wait, what? You can trade when. Oh, that's retarded. A, whenever that's there's just thing, dumb. Whenever there's a thing on the th screen, it doesn't allow you to trade units unless you get rid of that thing on your screen. That is awful. That is terrible. Everything about that system is awful. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about, oh my god, why can't I just do that by default? Oh god! <laughs> oh. <laughs> you know what? I hope this is enough. I'm gonna kill that bastard. I'm gonna take him and all of his friends with him. I'm gonna take his one and only settlement and I'm going to burn it to the goddamn ground. And I'm gonna do so while I laugh at him. How did Scarbrand end up dying? Uh, not by me overusing. Oh no, I got ambushed by the goddamn beastmen, and uh, I thought I was winning, and then it just kind of went south pretty fast. Oh look, Harbinger man. Yes, very good. I'm not even gonna bother fighting that. And he's gonna take that settlement, isn't he? No, he's just gonna burn it. Okay, that's fine. He can no, burn it. It's part of his his uh, bloodstone thing. They don't really take settlements; they just raise it. That's fine. I'm gonna burn his to the ground. I hope he's ready for it, cause I'm gonna burn his home. Now the question is: once I burn his home, does it actually kill him? No. Then you have to kill him, because since he's a beastman, he doesn't face attrition from being homeless. What a dick. But as, as if you kill him after his herdstone's gone, he obviously can't come back and that'll destroy his faction. Alright, so there's a blood host. There we go. Perfect. Now that may cost me money, but I'm okay with that. Now, let's go say hi. I've got, ooh, spawn, chaos spawn. A skull cannon, there we go. I like, I like hitting things from far away. You just said how corn should never have any kind it, of range. They units. shouldn't have any kind of range units, but if I'm going to do that, I might as well. By the way, since... If you do have 2,000, you can put, uh, uh, shit in Carrick 8 Peaks and get my siege units. Ooh. Ooh, hello. I've got another hero. Nice. His name is Gan. Gan, go over there. We're going to increase some mobility up in here. Gan is a great name. As a matter of fact, I, I, you know what? That is not going to be a legendary hero for me. Gan. Let's go! But yeah, so far the campaign's been kind of rough at the beginning, but that's okay. I've never played Corn before. Uh, I, I, I'm not going to lie. Uh, <laughs> I, 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 I've really enjoyed 3 so far, at least more than I've enjoyed 1 and 2. But then again, this has got the most chaos stuff in it, and I'm a chaos fanboy, so there you go. Blood letters were always really cool. Zinch crap is boring. Nurgle just looks garbage. And uh, Slaanesh, well, Slaanesh is fun. <laughs> Slaanesh is the best uh, chaos guy. You kind of have a bigger problem. Oh, god dang it! I've got a freaking another doom stack right on top of me. Ugh! <sighs> The Raging Reapers. I don't even know what those are. Hold on, let me check. Oh, the Raging Reaper. That's the the random blood host. Just get the thousand skulls. 
Because the the raging reapers are the blood host you spawn that are gonna die eventually anyway. Oh, okay. Let's see. What do you got? That's two. That's one full stack. Oh. Alright. Alright. Well, I can't do much right here. Tell you what, though. I'm gonna sit you in this little house. I'm gonna send you to go fight these guys. How much is that? 6,000 to get a freaking Blood Reaper. Or better, yeah, what if I just keep these two together and then that's just reinforcements. I like that idea. Now I just gotta kill that Jagoff Dark Omen man. We might have a big fight. No, no more big fights. Wow. I've got a big fight coming up. Well, no, like, I'm technically just going to be helping in it. That's fine. And probably after this next fight will be, like, after I defeat these orcs, it'll probably be time for me to call it a night. No. Yes. Yeah. Sorry, brother. You not want to fight against Thorgrim Grudgebearer? No, no, I really don't. <laughs> you don't want to control Skarsnik? Not, not if it means me fighting a match that's going to take like 45 minutes. No, it's not. It's going to be kind of a monster match smash. Ooh. Don't you, want, don't you like fighting battles where it's re really one-sided? Oh, I do, but you know. Probably not going to take long. All right. I think you're able to control Skarsnik. Good lord, this is an absolutely one-sided fight. Just hit take control of Skarsnik instead of joining my side. Don't join team, don't join team. Just take control of Skarsnik. Okay. There's a large chance that I'm going to get this guy murdered. Okay, I'm going to kill him eventually anyway. You're going to kill Skarsnik? Yeah. Why? Because... Why? I'm going to kill everyone. But Skarsnik, he's I'm the then. he's the only goblin that is actually defeat or got got orcs working for him. But I, I he he needs to take the thing that I need. Carrick eight peaks me Skarsnik and uh, fucking that other dwarf guy all are vying for Carrick eight peaks, and it's all part of our quests. And I normally Scars or fucking Clan Morris always gets to it first. Forced. And then it, forced. And then forced. it starts. Ah, oh, we're on this really weird incline. Oh, I hate this. I haven't played. Oh my god, and these guys. Oh jeez, I hate this. I hate this lineup. They've got no shock infantry. Oh my god. There's not. There's nothing shock related in this. Isn't this his main army? Shouldn't he have his fucking? He's got spider. no shock infantry in here at all. He's he got. Should have the spider guy. I don't know why he doesn't. Oh my god. Oh Lord of Mercy. Oh no. Don't worry. Look at look at your reinforcements. Yeah, I am aware that you have, you are coming. I'm just simply saying, this army is awful. I mean, it's awful. Everything about it is awful. It is going to take me about two minutes to get there, though. So. Yeah, it's, it's going to take him two minutes to tear me apart. But he's not moving, so... Oh, fantastic. Here we go. Because Skarsnik engaged, so that means Thor uh, fucking Thorgrim doesn't have to attack. And since he has the high ground, he's not going to. Yeah, no, I wouldn't either. But then again, the high ground doesn't do much in this game. Yeah, and I have my, my army of... Warp fire throwers and Skaven slave spears coming in. 
Because yeah, there's Don't provoke them. Oh, I'm gonna provoke them all right. I'm gonna move them all right in here. I need to get my archer somewhere, for God's sake. Just absolutely atrocious army lineup. I can't. I, I don't even know, I don't even know how to describe my disappointment with this army. High ground matter when you have non archery range units. I, okay, so that I need someone to explain to me how that makes sense. It only matters when you don't have archers for the high ground. Who said that? Uh, well, he is bad at games, so what do you expect? Oh, that's fair. He's really stupid, too. Oh, that, okay, that's just being mean. Ron, apologize. No. I'm retarded. I can say whatever I want. That's fair. He is retarded. I'm sorry. He says horrible things sometimes, but I, I tend to forget that he actually is mentally deficient. You want to watch me melt his helicopter? Yes. All right, let me, I'm getting my uh, warp fire throwers in position. Don't attack yet. But I just... Oh, God dang it. Well, too late. They're already in range. This is my range units anyway. I really don't care if they break. Come on, trolls, go! Go, trolls, go! Yeah, I don't know how to play orcs like this anyway. Squigs! Alright. Rifles, weapons, teams, flamethrowers, those things are very picky about shooting through your own units. If they have high, high ground, they will attack more often if they are on the same level as melee units. Archers which attack in an arc, don't care about that. That's true. I do like squigs. Squigs are adorable. More squigs. Look at them. Look at them hopping around like little silly billies. Look at them hopping around like little silly billies. They're just so happy to eat people. I have a lot of slaves. Oh, what? I have a lot of slaves. Oh, that's the news. And tell your retard friend to say sorry. I did tell him to say sorry. He doesn't know how. He's too dumb. I mean, he's too challenged. I'm retarded. Yeah, he... It, look, it's... I would say it's not his fault, but it's not true. It I'm is his fault. Gamer I'm gonna say the game award. I'm gonna get you banned. No, you god dang... What? Oh, my god. I'm Left. not retarded. Yet. I'm mentally handicrapped. There you go. Please go by. Please go by. Yes. Let's kick him in. That's the price. Get him. Get him. Be right back. All right, no problem, man. No, stop it. Stop running, you goddamn. What's the gyro captor say? We We Why are you running? Get Fight him. You almost you almost wag. Wag is good. See, let's see what we do here. I I don't play orcs, so I don't know. And this army lineup, I hate it because I don't know how to use it. And all my units are getting just absolutely overwhelmed. God dang it! Get over there. Look at that gyrocopter. He's almost dead already.
Yeah, I like I like corn units. I like I like I am a chaos player. I like chaos. Chaos is fun. Chaos makes sense. There's something over there and I want it broken. Yeah, chaos can do that. A grand cafe player. Hmm. I have never played cafe. And I know that in the original lore, Cafe was very, very vague. They, they, it's like, um, what is it, the, the Middle Eastern section of the game. Where they kind of just left that undescribed for a reason. Kill him. Where's... Nope. I don't want that. I don't want that. I want... Who is this? This... No, that can't be it. Kill him! There we go. No more charging for you. I have yet to play Cathay. I have not even seen Cathay be played yet. They're a terrible faction. They're terrible? I think... Well, like, the thing is, their mechanic of the caravan is neat. It's just their problem is that every five, t every two turns, their caravan gets engaged by, like, ogres or some shit. And you have to manually fight all of them, and it just turns your campaign into a super loose, just a slog. Look, as somebody who enjoys slogs, you know, There's no real end to that statement. I just enjoy campaigns that take forever. That's why I like Aliens Dark Descent right now. It feels like it takes forever. Yes! Get him! Get him! We got the wog! Stick a fork in him, they're done. Come on, kill him! Kill him! Kill him! Oof. He just exploded somebody with his axe. Oof. And he didn't even look like he put much effort into it either, which is the scariest part about that. Look at my, my warp fire throwers that are just behind him now. Where? Look behind the enemy. Yeah, they're just chilling out over here. Yeah, but they're gonna be spewing some green shit. We it's the Nickelodeon goo. They are me last. Ah oh, yes. It's the Nickelodeon goop. Ah, oh, this fight's over. And it was all thanks to me. Cafe after rework would be fun. What rework? Are they doing another one? Okay, so the at least on the path, line, whatever, uh, Zine just getting a rework that's happening like now. Oh, is that the uh, DLC? It's supposed to be, no, it's, there's just also a rework supposed to be in the works. And all mono gods are getting a rework, plus um, Cafe, and I think Kislev. I think Daniel's supposed to be getting buffed. Oh my god. Do you want to pull, you want to do that last fight against Malagor and then call it? Or you want to call it now? I think you're probably going to call it now. I'm getting tired. I'm like, you I'm... want to save it? You want to save it? You yeah. want to save it? Yes, I'm going to save it, god dang it. I'm going to save it, god dang it. Let's play tomorrow. No, I can't play tomorrow. <laughs> Why? What are you doing tomorrow? Fucking your mom? No, I'm cutting branches off a tree. That's another way of fucking your mom. That doesn't seem like a real way to do that. Because <laughs> you're fucking you're cutting branches off your family tree and that's making not, it a circle. That's not no. <laughs> yep. That's a really weird way of describing everything you just said. Nope. Nope. No. I speak in truth. I think you speak in retard. But it's okay. We love you anyway, Ron. Because you're black. Wow, now you're just, you're just, you're telling on me in front of everybody? Yeah. Everyone call him that funny word. 
Yeah, don't. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend it on, on Twitch. <laughs> streaming? No, no, no. See, this isn't a stream or anything. It's fine. Oh, okay. I, I, I thought you were streaming for some reason. Yeah, I don't even worry about it. It's a common misconception. Thank God. I, I thought I was, I was worried there for a moment. Yeah, I, w I would have been too. But luckily, that's not the case. I'm so, glad. I'm really glad. Save. And we're going to call it a night. So thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you all again Monday. And then uh, after that, you're probably not going to see me for at least a, at least on Wednesday. I'm probably not going to be streaming. Maybe Friday. It depends on how bad it is. So we'll see. So, oh, I got to hydrate before I go. Hydrate and... Mm. Have a good night, everybody. You have a good one, Matt. You too, man. Take it easy. Thanks for playing, Ron.